welcome to savi it solutions in this video we are discussing about box so in the last class we discussed about table uh, css table now we are discussing about box this is very very important thing why because in future based on the box only the almost all the table is work uh, almost all the web page will be designed so i will give some more examples at the end of this presentation so here we are discussing about we are discussing about box now a box model all html elements can be considered as boxes in css the term box model is used when take talking about design and layout the css box model is essentially a box that wraps around every html element it consists of margins borders padding and the actual content actually these four are the main pillars for that so initially this part will be contain content in between the content and the border is called padding and border to margin is called the different so content the content of the box where text and images appear padding clears an area around the content the padding is transparent border a border that goes around the padding and content margin clears an area outside the border the margin is transparent now let us look into small example so the background color is light green okay width is 300 and padding is 25 px okay the border is 25 px solid navy and the margin is 25 so let's take simple example so the border is 25 px solid navy okay so what exactly is this is 300 px okay the border is 25 px so that it gives all the sides 25 px with solid navy so the color will be filled okay navy color will be filled and the text will be padding 25 so again we need to leave some space and we need to fill the text okay so margin means if we call the same div next time so it takes that 25 px of margin here 20 this is the 25 px of margin from one box to another box that is what exactly the description about this box so the next one is width and height of an element in order to set the width and height of an element correctly in all browsers uh, you need to know how the box model works so here width is 320 px and padding is 10 px border 5 px solid green margin is zero means there is no gap between one box to another box okay here is the max uh, 320 px is nothing but 20 px left and right padding 10 px left and right padding so 5 px is nothing but double 10 px okay so here padding is 10 px so we are left and right it adds 20 so margin is zero so there is no margin we add it actually it takes 350 px of space okay so let us take this is the box and it has 5 px of width okay so the next is the text is internally it is of some width okay so there is no margin so the next box will come immediately after that box right so this is how it exactly works in that model so the next one is so previously we are taking only div directly we need to call the tag is div and and with div 
in between we need to write but here i am using the class name dot so div class is equal to div1 and close div in between we need to apply okay here the width is 300 px height is 100 px and the border is 1 px solid blue okay so here i need additionally i am applying padding so the difference is in this the text will be starting from here to here but in the second list the text is starting from here it goes like this okay that is the major changes in both the codes now apart from this exactly where we are using these things and what are the new uh, properties available in it so let us say simple actually it the box gives rectangle shape okay but i need to give some curves at the border okay using border radius okay similarly so that it will come like this okay so the border radius is some value 5 px or 2 px or minus 2 px like that you have to give automatically to work out similarly i am also telling you one more thing is border slice slice means so mostly in all the web pages the profile pics are in circle shape if you want to get circle shape using border slice we need to cut some parts automatically it generates a circle and in the middle we are placing our image this model or this model is most visible profile pics are visible in these two directions so mostly the 99 percent is coming in this circle so using border slice we need to cut four sides automatically the slice it will generates a circle or it generates this shape or instead of using rectangle i think you got very clearly about these parts apart from this i am also telling you padding Twenty px. Let us assume you are writing this. This means four sides. It cuts twenty px. Instead of this, we need to change something. Okay. So one side is ten px. One side is ten px. One side is five px, and one side is five px. Also, we can mention we have that much of flexibility to change. Okay. Similarly. margin is also okay uh, 25 px will be given then four sides the margin will be equal if similarly i need to change the margin is 5 px 10 px 5 px and 10 px it changes that so think it top left bottom right this is top left bottom and right we need to change the values accordingly it also changes we can also give like this or like this n number of practices is required okay so different values will give different meaning and different appearances also coming like this this border radius also same i will write only radius border will come automatically okay when i am explaining in the practical i will show you border radius so when i am using 5 px automatically all the sides it takes similarly i will cut 5 px 2 px 3 px and 5 px different different cuttings means one side more curve one side very less curve like this it gives the more result of impact so similarly slice also same so you can use in different mechanisms okay 
that the way how best we are using is the important in web technologies so if you know all the properties very clearly you can apply it okay in the in the next video we will explain you these things in a practical way okay thank you